All right, now, Cruz, so guess who got some new nails? Yes, guys, these are the hands of Muffin. <laughs> I actually did Muffin's nails again. Can you believe it? All righty now, crew, welcome back. Welcome back. So today I'm going to do a full set on Miss Muffin. Yes, y'all, this is Muffin. Muffin asked me to do her nails again. And anytime she says, Mommy, I want my nails done, I am on it. Because you know she doesn't like her nails done. So any chance I get to put my hands on her hands, we're going to make it work. So I just want to point out real quick, her pinky finger that I'm working on right now and her ring finger, it looks a little rough and it kind of looks like her nail is damaged, but that's not her actual nail. That is leftover product from her last set. So I got the other ones off pretty good, but those two were just so stubborn. So I think it was two on this hand and like maybe three on the other hand that were just really stubborn and did not want to come off. So I had them soaking in acetone and that whole bit. Um, but now we're like really tired of soaking and scraping and soaking and scraping. So I said, I'm just going to file off the rest and see how well that goes. So that's why those two nails look kind of rough. I just want to point that out there. I don't want you guys to think that her nail is actually damaged because as you can tell from the rest of her fingernails, they are perfectly fine. Okay. So I'm going in with my ceramic drill bit and this is a cuticle drill bit. And I just like to clean up the cuticles and remove the dead skin with that. And then I go in with my arbor band and as you can tell, Tell. like I'm spending a little bit extra time over here on this pinky I just really want to move that extra acrylic off of her nail sometimes I could get it off so well and so easy and then other times I just have to put a little bit more effort into it but I mean it's fine we have nothing else to do today I got the pinky off really good like that pinky looks nice and clean so on to the ring finger and basically I'm just doing the same thing and you want to make sure that you don't keep the drill bit you guys already know this but you don't want to keep the drill bit in the same spot too long because it will heat up even though this is an arbor band and it's not a ceramic or it's not a carbide drill bit it could still heat up so you want to make sure that you keep it moving and keep it flowing don't keep it in the same spot too long otherwise oh my god that will hurt and burn so bad so anyway i am just removing the shine from her nails so i did that i brushed off her nails with alcohol you guys know i love me some alcohol so i sprayed her nails with alcohol and scrubbed it off with a nice manicure brush and then i glued on the tips so the tips that i'm using today of course, it will be in my Amazon storefront link below. And I use these tips quite often. They are stiletto tips. But as you can see, like once you cut them, <laughs> they're not stiletto anymore. <laughs> so they're only good for stiletto if you're going to keep them long. If you're going to cut them, well, I mean, look, like look right here. Like once you cut off the stiletto tip, it looks like a regular tip. And then you still got to go back in and cut it into that stiletto shape. So it is what it is. So right here, you see Muffin <laughs> measuring out their nails. <laughs> she was like, I know what comes next. Let me do it. So that way, like she literally said, let me do this part. So that way, if somebody asks who did my nails, I could say I did it myself. I was like, Muff, you didn't do anything. <laughs> she was like, well, I helped. I was like, oh, okay, you helped. So anyway, yeah, she went ahead and measured them. And she was like, okay, they're the same size. They're fine. So <laughs> at least she, I guess she feels like she put in her little input and her little two cents. And yeah, she could take partial credit for that. So now I'm just filing i'm doing my pre-shaping and pre-filing which is something you don't have to do when you use forms and that's why i kind of like using forms because you throw the forms on and then you can start building the nail right away and you don't have to go through this part so so as you guys know i do prefer paper forms i do prefer to sculpt my nails i feel like they last longer they look better and you don't have to go through the pre-shaping process however however I do want to be good at everything and I just have to practice. You know what I'm saying? So for me, putting on tips takes a long time because I have to find which tip fits the best. Then I got to glue it on. Then I got to cut them into the shape. Then I got to shape them. Then I got to do this part where I'm blending the tip to the natural nail plate. Like there's a lot of stuff that I have to do when I'm using tips versus forms. But I mean, the only way you're going to get better at something is if you practice. So that's what I'm doing today. And I am practicing with tips, y'all, with tips. So mm -hmm, yeah, I prefer to use forms, but 
it is what it is now i just want to point out real quick you see like over to the left well no you're right if you're looking at it it's your right right so there's like a little glossy spot that's just glue i don't want you to think that's like any damage to her nails it's just actually glue um, I got a little carried away when I was gluing on the tips. So I'm using the e-file to not only blend in the tip to her natural nail plate, but to also remove the extra glue. You need your toes done. Me, right? Yeah. You gonna do them? When are you gonna do those fun videos I said What? What video? I said do one i this is an example you know when those people do like them one minute five minute ten minute challenges all like right well, they tell try me how to do, do it. it okay so this is what you do so like say you wanted to do this nail so first you try to complete the nail in one minute then you try to complete the nail in 10 minutes then you try to complete the nails in 60 minutes like that oh 60 minutes it's an example oh okay they usually do five minute they usually do five minutes 10 minute and 15 minute but it has to be harder than this though because that's too easy right something that actually would take more than 15 minutes which you try to complete it in 15 minutes okay nice. they do it with food everything i feel like that'd be kind of cool yeah and that's then you put the five minute nail on the thumbnail next to the 10 minute next to the 15 minute and it's like kind of cut so they can see it but you kind of blur it out it's, it's, you kind of blur out the nail so they can see in the so they can want to click on the video to see uh, how the nail looks. Ah, uh, yeah, but don't blur out too much. Blur it out so they can see like kind of the looks main. Like, yeah. yeah. Hmm. Okay, now, crew, you hear these ideas coming from Muff? Muff is giving me some video ideas. So I don't know if you understood what she was saying, but she wants me to do a nail art challenge where I would do a nail art, like, create it in, let's say, 15 minutes, right? And just, like, go balls to the walls <laughs> of a good, like, nail art 15 minutes. And then do that same exact nail art, recreate it in, let's say, like, 10 minutes and see what it looks like you know like when the timer runs out it's just done and then recreate that same nail look in five minutes or less and see what that will look like so i feel like that's a good video i feel like that's a good challenge so i'm gonna see if um i'll see if she'll do it with me i'll see if she'll do it with me that actually seemed fun and i feel like you guys will watch that and I don't know, I just feel like it'll be really fun, really cool to do. So we'll see how that goes. I have to find, I have to find something that's really intricate and like really hard. That's going to be a challenge to do in five minutes. <laughs> So I don't know. I'm going to go on Pinterest or Instagram and kind of see where I could go and ideas I could get for that challenge. So good looking out, Muff. Look at Muff trying to get me some new video ideas. And she's even helping me on a thumbnail telling me what to blur out and stuff. Okay. And it'll actually be real cool if she steps in and does the video with me. If she does it, I know I could get Marvin to do it with me as well. Ooh! Oh, that'll be so fun right me her and marvin d do the same challenge at the same time oh that'll be fun okay i'm not gonna give you guys the whole idea that i'm i'm brewing up in my mind um but yeah we'll work on that we'll work on that but anyway um i based her nails with my protein bond from young nails you guys watch me do that and i let that dry and then i used my base coat from the gel bottle ink and i told you guys before this gel bottle ink this rubber base coat is so expensive. They're actually having a sale right now. And I went on the website to kind of like, oh my gosh, you're having a sale, da, da, da. Put that thing in my cart, y'all. Even applied the coupon code. And by the time they calculated like shipping and handling, it came up to like $26. I took that thing right on out my car. Ain't no, ain't no way. No, 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 no. So, uh-uh. Like I told you guys before, when this stuff runs out, I am still going to use rubber-based gel, but I'm going to use Cody rubber-based gel because that is my favorite rubber-based gel. Um, and it's affordable. It is affordable. Check out my Amazon storefront link below. Just check it out. Look at it. It's absolutely affordable. I would say try it, especially if you have problems lifting or if your nails are really brittle and weak. Definitely look into a rubber-based gel. Give it a try. Um, and it's Amazon. So you guys know if you hate it, you could always send it back for a full refund. I say it's, it's really worth it.
It's really worth it. That stuff will have your nails on forever. And actually, the last time I mentioned that in my video, I had a few people in the comments actually tell me, yeah, they tried the Cody rubber base and it actually works good. Also, I did have somebody point out, um, I think it's polished, poised, painted, polished, and poised. Oh my gosh, I so jacked up your name. I'm gonna go on her, her YouTube and find the link and put it up here so you guys could know the exact person I'm talking about. Um, but anyway, she wanted you guys to know as far as the Cody rubber base, make sure you get it from a reputable company. Do not go on AliExpress for it because they had a lot of like fake sellers, fake vendors and they're just selling whatever with the Cody name on it and you guys are gonna buy that because it's cheap and then break out into a rash or whatever so please don't do that use the link that I put below for my Amazon storefront please I don't want you guys to try this product and feel like it's not good, but it's actually that you bought a fraudulent product. Like, oh my gosh, I don't want any of you guys to break out into a rash or what get infected. I don't, I don't know. I just don't even think about that. Also, when you shop on like AliExpress and those stores, I don't like to buy like gels and acrylics from those kind of stores. I like to just get nail art stuff. Like you can't go wrong with glitter. You know what I'm saying? But as far as like acrylics and gel, mm -mm, don't do that. Don't do that because you're putting yourself at risk for, I don't know what these people are selling, like to be honest. So anyway, that's that. I was off on a tangent and now I reeled myself back in. So I just want to point out the acrylic that I'm using. The base acrylic, the clear one, is Tammy Taylor. And I'm using my Tammy Taylor monomer. The 24K acrylic that I'm using now, like these little gold flakes, that is from Enel Couture. And I really, really like this gold glitter type of look. That's really pretty. That's from Enel Couture. And it came in like their little sample pack where you get three small jars of acrylic and you get their monomer. I think it's like the four ounce bottle and it was $20. So I thought that was a good deal to try. And I've had this for a long time. I just don't use it as often for whatever reason, but it is pretty um and what else okay so then the white acrylic that i'm using is also from email couture and it came as part of the little sample pack so the sample pack you get the four ounce monomer you get the 24k acrylic you get the white acrylic and then you also get a color called glass pink now i don't know if they're gonna have a black friday sale or whatever the case is but at the time that i bought this months ago it was only twenty dollars so hey maybe it's even cheaper now that it's in november i wasn't really using email couture for a while because a lot of you guys were telling me like i don't know horror stories about it now the acrylic does lay fine it does lay fine but i was like dang i don't like how I'm getting these horror stories from you guys. So tell me what's up, guys. Give me the tea. Are you still having like a bad experience with email couture? Let me know. Let me know. Like, should I not use them? I want to know. Let me know. Fill me in. So anyway, the brush that I'm using is also from email couture. And I actually do like this brush. Um, yeah, I have no issues with this brush. This is a really good brush, actually. Yeah, it's a really good brush. I have nothing to say about it. And I find myself um, keep going back to it. I do have a size 16 and I do have a size 14 brush that you've seen me use in the past. And I like those brushes. I really do. But when I'm doing small nails, like muffins nails are small and they're slender and they're short. So I have to use a smaller brush. Otherwise, she'll have acrylic all over her hand. So that's why I'm using this. And this is a size 12. Um... What else can I say? So the little pink and polka dot thing in the back, I got that from the nail show when I went to California and that's just an armrest. And these little yellow towels that you've been seeing me use in some of my videos, cha, I got those from Walmart. So in the section where you like get the stuff to wash your car, they had like a pack of 10 for like $4. So I was like, oh my God, these are perfect for my nail videos because they're bright. And they work, you know, I just need something to keep the dust off my table. So that's why I'm using that. And they actually have like a lot of fun, pretty colors. So I might actually go back and get more colors. They're for washing your car. So they are in the automotive section. But hey, they work for doing nail stuff too. True. Mm -hmm. So anyway, that is that. I hope I mentioned every single thing that you guys will think to ask me in the comments. Now look at my nail. Look at my blue nail. I need a fill so bad, y'all. And I'm actually excited that I need a fill because 
Oh my gosh, remember when I did this set? I kept my bling on with peel off face coat. So I'm actually excited to try to peel it off to see is it gonna give me that good peel porn or is it gonna be a struggle? Remember the last time I used peel off face coat to hold my stones on? They did not peel off and I was actually struggling. If you guys watch that video, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. I actually struggled to peel off peel off face coat. So I'm hoping that when I go to peel off these blings, they come off nice and easy. Oh my gosh, fingers crossed. So you guys will watch me peel this off pretty soon because it is getting ready. Like it's time. Like I need a fill and I, I'm, yeah, I'm ready. And I'm tired of this blue. I really just want to do something else nice and fun and funky. And then looking at Muff's nails, y'all. Oh my gosh, looking at her nails. I really want this now. Like I really want this. I want this. I love how the white... Okay, so listen. <laughs> Me and Muff was arguing because she sat down. She said, Mom, I want white nails and I want white rubber bands in my hair. Like she had the whole like, this is what I want. So I said, okay, boom. So she sits down and she's watching um, Netflix. She's like on her tablet or whatever. She's watching Netflix. So she don't really pay attention to what I'm doing. She just know I'm doing her nails. So she notices that not all the nails are white and there's like a gold glitter here. There's a clear nail there. She's like, Ma, every time I tell you what I want, you just be doing your own thing. <laughs> and I'm like, Ma, I'm making them look better. Like, I, you're welcome. I'm making them look better. Like, if I would have just gave you white nails, that would have been so boring. So anyway, she liked them. In the end, she was like, oh, yeah, I like them. These are nice. Well, duh. You're welcome. Like, don't do that to me. Don't make me feel like I'm just being like a tyrant over here. <laughs> like, give me your hands. I'm doing whatever I want. Which, side note, y'all, I do do that sometimes. I can't even front. I do. Like, if it's my friends or whatever, or my sister, or a muffin, child, sit your behind down. Let me do what I want to do. You know, I'm so bad with that. I'm so bad with that. But, but, it looks good to me. <laughs> Are y'all like that? Does your friend sit down and they tell you that they want white nails and you're like, yeah, that's nice, but this is better. Let me do that. Or do you give them exactly what they ask for? Let me know. Oh my gosh. Do I need to change? Oh, snap, y'all. Oh, don't clown me. Don't, don't drag me in the comments. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't help it. I'm such a bossy person sometimes. So anyway, Muff wanted white nails, but I went off, y'all, and I did some gold, some clear, and I think that it looks, I don't know. I think it looks better than just plain white nails um but like i said like i said in the end she really loved it she really did so that was that <laughs> i think they look so good oh oh i want to point out i want to point out you saw me base her nails with the rubber base gel right you saw me put the gel on her nails before I put the acrylic. I did not wipe off the sticky inhibition layer. Leave that sticky inhibition layer. The inhibition layer is sticky and it allows the next layer of product to be attracted to it. So you do not have to file that off. You do not have to wipe that off. Leave that there. It'll help to adhere the acrylic, okay? So in case anybody is wondering, leave it alone. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. So here I am on my last finger. I'm doing a thumb. And I just want to point out this white acrylic is kind of, what can I say? It dries slow. And I know I mentioned that before, Enel Couture is a slower drying acrylic. So hey, if you guys need something to dry slow because you're slow yourself and you need more time to play and sculpt and mold, well, I mean, give it a try. Um, but then the Tammy Taylor, which is the clear acrylic that I'm using, that one dries pretty quickly. So <laughs> it's kind of like, it's, it's kind of weird using a quick drying acrylic for the base and then using a slow drying acrylic for the color and then sealing it in with the quick dry. It's like you gotta, I don't know, it's kind of confusing. You gotta have like a lot of good hand-eye coordination. You gotta kind of be ready. It's weird, it's really weird. Uh, yeah, I would, I would not really recommend that for beginners. If you're really like really, really new, like a, a novice to acrylics, I would not tell you guys to use a slow setting acrylic mixed with a fast setting acrylic. I, I would just say stay with one brand of acrylic, get used to how that feels. And then if you wanna venture out into something else, then do that. But 
yeah, this this felt kind of weird. This really did felt weird because, like I said, Tammy Taylor dries really fast, and then you know Couture dries really slow. Uh, mixing the two was just I don't know. It just was. I just had to get used to it. I just had to get used to it. So anyway, I am pretty much done. Uh, yeah, I really, really, uh, really love this set so far. So good. And of course, I got to file it and all that fun stuff. But uh, so far, it came out really pretty. And Muff, mm, even though she wanted all white nails, her mother hooked her up. And I want to apologize because watching the video, guys, like, this table was shaking so much. It was, oh my gosh. And <gasps> muffin like she is tapping she's dancing she's watching the the netflix and then she's like talking to her friends on the phone like she's just really doing a lot she's doing a lot and it's always hard for me to record her sets because she does 12 things at one time i swear she does 12 things at one time even when she's doing homework even when she's doing homework she's doing like 12 things at one time and i just don't understand how she does what she does but i guess it works for her shoe maybe that's that new generation of children brain because my old brain cannot really process like that like i could do two or three things at a time but that's it damn it I have told this girl stay still so many times and she just does not know what stay still means but anyway we made it through the set we made it through the set and I am done so I want to say from start to finish it took me about a good two hours and that's because I had to remove some nails so in removing her nails and doing the entire set yeah it took me a good two hours so I'm gonna file now with my hand file as you can tell like the nails are pretty much smooth and I don't have a lot of e-file to do, uh, but I will just smooth over the top with the Arbor Band. I'm not going to show you guys that because it's hard. It's hard to stay in focus and everything and move her hands the way I need it to, to be moved and things like that with the e-file. So it's easier for me to actually just do that off of camera. So I went ahead and I filed her nails with my e-file. And I'm actually still using my Burano e-file, y'all. I, I really do like that e-file. If you did not catch my review of that e-file, I will leave a video below, but it's really good. It's the white one with the hole in the middle of it so that you could put the hand piece. That's the one that I've been using and I, I really like that. Um, and a lot of you have been asking me, how does that compare to the bell? And I know you're not going to believe this, but I have not used that bell drill yet, guys. It is still in the box. I opened it to show you guys a picture of it on my Instagram. And you guys have like been all sending me all these questions about the drill. But to be honest, I don't know yet. I just don't know. I've been trying to give the Burano drill a fair chance. Like I used it once for the video for you guys. And ever since then, I just really, really liked it. And I've just been using that. So... I have no idea how the bell one is going to perform. All I could tell you is that bell drill is sleek, honey, and she is pretty. She is a pretty drill, okay? And if she works anything how she looks, honey, that is the drill to get. That's all I'm going to say, but I don't know. Stay tuned for that. I will pull her out really soon because she's in the corner of my room staring at me like, coach, put me in. Coach, let me show you what I could do. Yes, honey. Yes. So she's over there. But for now, I've just been using my Burano and Burano is working just fine as well. So hey, don't ask me which one is my favorite yet because I have no idea. Okay. But you guys will know soon. So anyway, uh, I'm pretty much done at this point. I use the transfer gel. So this particular transfer gel, you have to put on the nail like a regular gel polish. You cure it for about 30 to 60 seconds and it leaves a tacky finish. You could use it for any kind of stickers, any decals or transfer foil. That's exactly what it's for. Um, but like I said in my previous videos, if you guys do not have transfer gel and you can't afford the transfer gel, use gel polish. I used to use my gel base coat. You want to get a base coat with a really good inhibition layer. Layer, that sticky layer that's going to help stick your whatever your transfer foil your decals your stickers that's going to help stick them on and that's what I used to use and in fact I used to even use regular clear polish not even gel polish regular clear polish like right when it's about to dry it leaves a nice sticky tacky
wacky finish, that can also hold on your foils and your decals and your stickers and things like that. So if you don't have access to transfer foil, then my darlings, don't worry about it. Save your coins, use what you have, make it work, and then go from there. So anyway, that was that. That's my whole spiel on do it yourself and save some coins. Because I tell you what, I'm only using this transfer gel because it's for free. Okay, I got it free, period. Okay, that's the truth. Now that's the truth. I got it free, so I'm gonna use it. But I've been using decals and transfer foil way before I had transfer gel. Hmm, okay. All right, just letting you guys know. Now these Nike stickers, I got these from the show when I was in California. And I'm using this E-Shine from Enel Couture. You know, I figured I'm using the Enel Couture brush. I'm using the acrylic. I might as well use their top coat too. And this is some really good top coat. Like I have nothing bad to say about the top coat at all. I don't know why I haven't been using it lately, guys. I don't know, I just have it over there in the corner. And I was like, yeah, let me use it today. So that's what we are doing. And pretty much she is done. Now she does have stiletto, but if you notice, I didn't make the point too pointy because last time I did muffins, stilettos, too pointy and she popped holes in her shirt. <laughs> And so when I was shaping these, she was like, Ma, remember, I don't want to pop no holes in my shirt. So I didn't make these as pointy, but they're still pointy enough to call them stiletto. And I think they're absolutely gorgeous. So this is what they look like. This is what they look like. So stinky cute. Let me know what you guys think. Now, they're not the all white nails that she wanted, but I bet you, I bet you these look 100% better than just some plain white tips, guys. I mean, seriously, let me know what you would have done. Would you have just done all white or would you have pimped her out? Come on. And then to top it all off, to top it all off, I took homegirl to the Nike outlet and got her a new Nike hoodie. Okay, so not only is she going to school with the Nike drip nails, she also has a Nike Look hoodie. Look at my beautiful muffin, dolphin. Turn around. Muffin, come here. Muff, you see how she running away? All right, so she ran away and I couldn't get too extra because if you see that lady that was coming out of my home, that is my nephew's teacher. Like he does like a little homeschool session every now and then. And that's the lady that comes to help him out. So I couldn't get too extra and crazy because she would probably think that I had issues. So I had to let it go. But anyway, long story short, she got some Nike nails even though she didn't want them to begin with. And she also got a Nike hoodie from the Nike outlet. So all in all, I said, it was a success. All right, guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share my video. And I'll see you tomorrow. 